So this video is going to look at substrate concentration. We've got two learning outcomes in this video. Um, the first one is describing. So we're going to describe the graph. We're going to describe how substrate concentration affects enzyme activity, the rate at which the enzyme works. And more difficult is we're now going to try and explain why the substrate concentration affects the enzyme activity. We're not looking at temperature here, uh, we're not looking at pH. Let's begin by looking at the axes of the graph. So at the bottom, the x-axis, we've got substrate concentration. So as we move from left to right, the amount of substrate increases. And then on the y-axis, we've got reaction rate. This is the speed of the reaction, how quickly the substrate is changed in the reaction. Remember, substrate could either be um, broken down or can be built up. So as we can see, we've got some shapes in this diagram. So we've got this um, sort of kidney shape for the enzyme and a round substrate shape. And these are commonly used by the exam board. So question for you here, which shape represents an enzyme with a substrate molecule in its active site? So if you want to identify that on the video. Okay, so that's been circled for you. So obviously that's the substrate fitting in the active site, the lock and key mechanism. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what's happening here. So explain why the rate of reaction is slower here. Well the reason for that, the explanation for that is because there's a low substrate concentration. In other words, there's only a few substrate molecules, there's only a few of these molecules that can actually bump into the enzyme. Okay, so the chances of that happening are fewer, there's a lower probability. And as a result, many of these enzymes have an empty active site. So there's just not enough substrate to react with or enter the active site of the enzyme. So as the substrate concentration increases, more enzyme molecules have their active sites filled with substrate molecules. So the rate of reaction increases. So we see the red line, the rate of reaction increasing because the substrate concentration is increasing. There's more chance of the substrate colliding or bumping into the enzyme and filling the active site. So there's the explanation. So we're now looking at the middle portion of the graph and we can see that the substrate concentration is increasing even more. That means that some of these substrates actually have to wait for a bit of time before an active site becomes free. So our rate begins to level off. It's not speeding up at the same um, pace as it was before. So the rate begins to slow down. These enzymes are now much, much busier. So we're now looking at the third portion of the graph where things begin to level off. And you can see the substrate concentration is very high. In other words, so high that all these active sites are filled other substrates have to wait before the active site is empty. There's no way that this reaction can get any faster. So in summary, as the substrate concentration increases, the rate of reaction increases, then it levels off and it doesn't get any faster. And that can be explained by looking at the active sites. Where the substrate concentration is low, there are free active sites, but as the substrate concentration increases, many of these active sites are occupied. So the product cannot be formed any faster.